So tonight we are in the midst of creating a vision for 2020, a vision for the direction that we're going. We're making vision boards, having a ton of fun. It's one of those things you just don't know what's gonna come down on the board, but what's amazing is what happens after you put this board up, kind of walk by it every day, and before you know it, things like just mysteriously start to happen. So much fun. Good one, right? Like it was meant to be. My name is Michael Rutherford, nice to see you. If y'all can hear me, do a little bit of a wave. Um, we're tuning in from my living room. We got a house full of people. Uh, in about a minute or two, uh, we're gonna kick off what I think is one of the most impactful experiences you're gonna have as an individual or as a family tonight. It's a vision board and dream board. It looks like some Canadians are huddled up in a house together. That's very cool. I uh, can see Deb Jay's got her fireplace going just like I do. Uh, Nick, Nick Martinez is on. Nick is here. Look at this. We got the keto dad in the flesh. So, what's up, Liz Grant? Hey, she's got a crib full of people. We're happy to see you all on. So, wait it out another minute or two and we'll go ahead and get started. Don't slow down doing any vision boards that you're currently doing, but we're very happy to have you on. Uh, we have a very cool structure tonight uh, to walk through some, what I think, some exercises that can make a big influence in your life. I started doing vision boards and dream boards years ago and I'm living all of the things in my current life right now as I sit in my living room that I put on vision boards and dream boards years ago. So uh, it's not that complicated of a process. So hang tight, we'll get back with you in just a moment and we'll get started. Thanks for being on. vision boards I think virtual vision boards are cool not alone I think by the I think there's something to be said about printing and cutting and pasting and the physicalness of it um, I'm also a big fan of touching things that you put on your vision board so I have a golf magazine I would like to play more golf so with Nick so we're gonna go play golf in the morning um, <laughs> we are we house we house hunted already today that's right we're gonna house hunt again tomorrow um, you know, if you have whatever the things are that you're going to cut out and put on your vision board, go touch them, go live them, go test drive them, go smell them, go taste them, go tour them, go, you know, whatever it is. You know, I had a friend whose vision is to donate $10,000 to a particular charity this year. I go, cool, what, did you donate a dollar to him today? Uh, no. And I go, cool, why don't you write two checks, one for ten grand, one for one dollar, send the one dollar one and post date to ten grand. Like, think about the activity of actually writing that out and then paste it on your vision board. So I don't know what all it is that you all want to accomplish, but you know, there's a lot of power in doing this and then going into life with it as a living, like a living document. I hope that makes sense. So have fun, you guys. We're going to cut you loose for now. If there's anything we can be about you, just reach out, let us know. I'm glad that you could be on. We did record this, so we can send it up to the recording now once it's done. Yeah. Um, see you guys. Thank you for being on. Have a blast. Happy vision boarding. Bye.